Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Simplified by Carrywise, where we break down complex money concepts. In this episode, we'll be talking about why you should invest in stocks or mutual funds. Stocks are shares of ownership in individual companies that trade on stock exchanges. When you buy a stock, you become a partial owner of that company. Investing in stocks can be exciting. You have the potential to earn high returns if you pick the right companies. You can buy stocks through a brokerage account, which allows you to trade stocks online or with the help of a financial advisor. On the other hand, mutual funds pull money from many investors to buy a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, or other assets. When you buy a mutual fund, you own a small portion of the entire portfolio of assets. Mutual funds offer diversification as they invest in a variety of companies, which can help reduce risk. You can buy mutual funds through a brokerage account, a financial advisor, or directly from the mutual fund company. So here are three distinct differences between stocks and mutual funds. Number one, diversification. Stocks are typically less diversified than mutual funds. They only represent ownership in individual companies. Mutual funds, on the other hand, invest in a variety of companies and other assets, which can help spread the risk. Number two, management. When you buy individual stocks, you are responsible for researching and selecting the companies to invest in. With mutual funds, professional fund managers make the investment decisions on behalf of investors, which can save time and effort. Number three, risk. Stocks are generally considered riskier than mutual funds. Their prices can be more volatile and can fluctuate based on individual company performance. Mutual funds, on the other hand, may offer stability and predictability as they are diversified across many different companies and assets. So, which one should you choose? Well, it depends on your investment goals, risk tolerance, and the amount of time you have. If you're looking for potentially high returns and willing to take on more risk, stocks may be the way to go. However, if you're looking for a more diversified portfolio and want to minimize risk, mutual funds may be a better option. It's important to determine your investment goals and risk tolerance before deciding which investment vehicle is right for you. We have linked our risk tolerance calculator in the description. Keep in mind that you can also invest in both stocks and mutual funds to create a diversified portfolio that aligns with your investment goals and risk tolerance. Thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share with anyone if you found this super helpful. See you in our next episode.